Hi everyone, it's Skino. In this video, I'll finally tell you about my the self-developed lotion that I mentioned before. I used this self-developed lotion for about two years before I found out the cure. Especially, it was effective in dry and cold winter, so that it could protect my skin against rash and skin flakes. As I said in another video, I originally didn't apply lotion, because the alcohol substance in the lotion irritated my skin to turn red. However, as the disease got worse and worse, I was necessarily needed some lotion to protect the skin barrier. But I had to solve this alcohol substance problem. So my idea was because oil dissolves in alcohol, I could neutralize it with oil. Besides, I have dry skin and as for moisturizing the skin, though people usually only care moisture, both moisture and oil are important. So it was an appropriate choice. By the way, the fundamental goal of my lotion was to protect the skin barrier, not for kind of beauty of the skin like general skin care. So it is of course lotion, but it was developed with the concept of building a barrier that strongly prevents bad external influences. If there are any people who will use the lotion I made, please put stress on the concept of lotion as a barrier that protects your skin rather than my recipe. This is because for skin disease patients, the lotion is necessary for the defense of the skin barrier rather than for beauty of the skin. In fact, the recipe itself is simple. First of all, lotion type 1. Water, olive oil, Cetaphil cream, which is not in pump bottles but in jars, and Vaseline. For your information, the reason I use the jar type of Cetaphil cream is Pump types contain more alcohol and watery, so the defense is relatively low for the jar types. So anyway, mix them all in equal proportions. And lotion type 2. It's the same as the type 1, but you add bee wax a little. The ratio of bee wax is about 1 20th of the olive oil or slightly less. For bee wax, put bee wax in olive oil and heat it in a microwave for 30 to 50 seconds to melt it and mix them together. And self type 1. Just mix it in ratio of 3 olive oil and 1 bee wax. And self type 2. Mix in the ratio of 8 olive oil and 1 bee wax. This second type of self reduced the ratio of bee wax for less shiny quality for type 1. In another video, I said the lotion has a slightly yellowish color. This is because natural bee wax is yellow, but if you use white bee wax, it will not be yellowish. And the higher the bee wax ratio, the more shiny its quality is. Currently, as I have recovered to the extent that I don't have to use these lotions, it's been a while since I haven't used it. So there's one thing I'm not sure is if I microwave them. But I guess when I made each lotion or self, I mixed the materials of the recipe and microwaved for about 30 seconds and stir them up with a metal stick until they cool down. Okay, anyway, the recipes are very simple, right? However, as you can see, you'll understand why I made it with such recipes. Like you can notice them as putting definite and solid armor on the skin rather than skin care. And for lotions, I used type 1 only in the early days and used mainly type 2. Because the bee wax worked as powerful armor. And at first, the proportion of bee wax was higher, but it was so shiny that I lowered a lot. For selves, it contains a lot of bee wax so they have more defense, but they are quite shiny. So it's suitable for use on non-face areas rather than the face. Besides the quality of strong shields, they feature long duration once you apply, like ordinary moisturizing lotions that need to be applied frequently because they dry up quickly. The way to apply them is not to apply them after washing and thoroughly drying the skin, but rather to apply them with water in a damp state. Another thing to say is the way to washing the skin after applying them, because when you apply that lotion, you may feel a little thick. So after applying the lotion, I wash my face again. At this second washing time, you just soap very slightly on your hands and wash the skin again. And then, instead of wiping the skin with towel, I use my hands to clean off the water on my face. That way, I remove the thickness of the lotion a little. So far, I've talked about the recipes for my self-developed lotion. In fact, after I figured out the cure, I didn't use the lotion and only applied olive oil. Because after that, it improved so rapidly that I didn't need a strong protective lotion. And it was cumbersome to make that lotion every time, so I just lightly apply olive oil. And when I apply olive oil, I use the same washing way as the lotion. And say, let's talk about oil again. In my case, coconut oil and grapeseed oil caused the affected area more rash. And the smell of coconut oil wasn't my taste either. And jojoba oil wasn't that good or bad, but the price was expensive and it seemed to cause slight rash. 
and shea butter was fine, but it was always hardened at room temperature, making it difficult to dissolve. So I'm using olive oil, which is the easiest and most skin friendly in the end. However, reactions may vary from person to person. So if you are interested in oils, please try each one and find the right oil for you. And another thing to say is you should be careful about contamination. This applies to all cosmetics even if it's not a self-developed lotion. Because it is touched by hands, it can of course be contaminated. Then this contamination can then lead to infection becoming the third cause and amplifying the diseases. So if you make a homemade lotion, rather than making a lot at once, make it less than for 3 months use each time to make sure it's a regular replacement. And until I developed these lotions, I tried using various lotions for my self-developed lotions. All of them were with an alcohol element, so they caused irritation on my skin. Of course, I could mix them with olive oil, so other lotions also available. But the reason I chose Cetaphil lotion as the base is that it's cheap and in large quantities against other lotions, which are thin and dry quickly. And about a year later, after figuring out the cure, I had a chance to use a physiogel, physiogel lotion. It was the only lotion I've used that are alcohol-free, so the affected area didn't cause rash. In addition, it wasn't quite thin and seemed to have some defense and not to dry quickly. So speaking of it, it was similar to the jar-type set of lotion without an alcohol ingredient. However, it seems that my self-developed lotions that contain BUX and basically develop to aim at strong defense have more strong defense. And also the price of physio gel is high and the amount is low. This time I'll give you some answers for the expected questions about my self-developed lotions. You can ask me, isn't it bad to put Vaseline on your face? And there are opinions like it's okay or not okay. But from my research, I finally concluded that there is no problem. And some people would worry that Vaseline and bee wax could clog the skin too much. At first, I was also worried a little, but using it, there was no problem at all. Maybe even if it clogs the skin, it's a lotion not a piece of plastic, so it can't completely block it, so you can sweat or release heat. And for the separate dermatitis, some people would ask, the condition worsens as oil flows out through the skin, so wouldn't it be bad to use a lotion with olive oil? Also in another video, I mentioned that a patient with separate dermatitis, which was very oily, improved a lot after washing the oil thoroughly with baking soda water. However, the flowing out of oil seems to be the result rather than the cause. Surely the results turn to the cause again though. So I think it's a good idea to wash off the oil thoroughly with soap if you excessive oily skin. However, after washing it like that, the skin becomes very dry. At this moment, I think it's necessary to protect the skin with a lotion that has both oil and moisture. So far, I've been talking about the lotion I developed myself. Since each person has a different constitution, I don't think the recipes of my lotions are the only answer. So if you've ever tried using my lotion but you got backfire, then just stop immediately. And again, no matter what lotions you use, please do not just use it. But you should use it with the precise goal of protecting the skin barrier the second cause. And though of course it's good to get my recipes, rather, as a skin disease patient, it's more significant to keep in mind and put stress on the concept that the skin barrier, which is the second cause, must be strongly protected. If you have any questions, visit my blog or email me below. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.